next guest was featured this past weekend at the Savor Dallas event. They're becoming known for their taste and their meticulous distilling and bottling process. Welcome, Seth from Infused Vodka. He's here to tell us more. And I am so excited to meet you finally because Stuart, our executive producer, has been raving about your vodka. Thank you, thank which you. Is infused with fruits. Which, real fruits. This real is spices. a genius idea, and the fact that someone has not thought of this sooner. You, I mean, you, you're, this is going to change the world of <laughs> vodka, y'all. Okay, it's so tell me how hard. you came up with this idea, Seth. Um, I travel the world, and I've been to uh, a couple bars that have really kind of set things aside as uh, far as perspective on how drinks should be made and what tastes good, what tastes different. And so I went to Barbados, and I had a, a rum infused with fennel. I had an anise-flavored rum. Oh. I had cinnamon rum. And it just sort of put everything in perspective for me. Like, why isn't this available everywhere? Right. And I know that infusions have always become increasingly more popular. Bars are doing their own infusions. Well, because so many people are doing all these mixologies, and people are, I mean, like, when I think of infusion, I think of um, when I first learned how to make sangria. And we would take yeah. all, the, all the fruits and vegetables, and we'd pour the wine, and we'd let it <laughs> soak all night. But you've kind of, you're going to make we it available it for the consumer. We let it soak for a long time. Yeah, we want to bring that infused flavor to every home So when and you were bars. coming up with this concept, was it just like a lab at your house? Like, it you're was. Just, like, it was. Buying exactly all these vodkas, that. just seeing what it works. It was exactly that. We had Tito's vodka actually from here in Texas, and we actually used that and we infused it, and we had to throw out a lot of vodka that That's didn't such work a out. Shame all that vodka you had to. We drank a lot away. of it too, but a lot of it had to go in the garbage. We tried cucumber, and that just fell apart. And we finally. <laughs> so got you've to, settled now on five flavors. We've got six. We have five here to taste and today. I don't want to kill anyone. So we've got what's this one? Cinnamon apple. Y'all, that sounds so good. Chili pepper. We've got lemon and peach and mango. So what are we making today? We're gonna make a cocktail with the chili pepper vodka and it's kind of gonna show you how easy it is to make a killer cocktail at home with friends, family, when you're entertaining. Okay, let's, get, let's knock this out. So let's get some ice okay. in our shaker. And what we're gonna do, do you is, need more? That should be enough. Okay. You don't want to do too much. And we're gonna do some chili pepper vodka from now, the Now is this spicy? It's spicy as hell and that's kind of how we like it, so. Nothing like some ready chili it. pepper and vodka on an empty stomach. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting a couple sh uh, shots just to make enough. A couple? For You're like on number three. This is my third shot. Well, I'm making two martinis here. So what I got here is some cold brewed coffee from uh, Whole Foods that I picked up this morning. You could just mix it with your coffee oh, that you, you know brew what? at home. Let me uh, get that open here. And I'm going to go with one shot of those. Just one of those and then three of the vodka. Maybe a dash more for you. Do you say you're making two? Yeah, he's making two. Get over here, Lisa. And I've got some whipped cream, and we're actually going to put some whipped cream in here, just like That's that. That like, serves as like our half and half, kind of. Yeah, kind of like your half and half. So this is going to be a spicy and mocha gonna teeny. Are we going to shake this up? Yep, we're going to throw that on there. I'm really Slam good at shaking. It. Give it a good Work. shake. Nice. Yeah! A little more, a little more. We really want to pulverize and get that whipped that's cream. Pulverize. That's what I was going for. Yeah, we want to smooth out that whipped cream. And then we've got our martini glasses here. OK. And that was with, that's with the so chili, you, need a man you made this with the chili pepper kind? I made this with the chili pepper vodka, and so we're going to hopefully have enough here for two martinis. Chili pepper and whipped cream, I don't know. I always say we got enough for one, but start so with that one, we'll, we'll pass that one we around. Can share. We can share. I'll make you guys another one right here. We'll get this going. Could you do the same thing with the apple cinnamon? <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> Yeah, You're not messing apple. around no. with that infusion over there. But do you, that is do you spicy. taste that spice? Yes, I taste Does it. Does it wow. come through with the coffee, though? Woo! <laughs> that yeah. is spicy, but That's that is like delicious. That's like Mexican coffee. It's like a Mexican coffee cocktail. Yes. Now, if you guys want to try some of the other ones Now, here. I wish I you guys, I apple. always say this to you guys at home, I wish you could smell through the screen because the smell of the cinnamon apple, yep. this is, it smells like Christmas time. Exactly. I feel like I, that would be great now, to I put make that some with pineapple like juice, actually. I mix it with of... pineapple juice. I do a little bit of pomegranate float on top. It actually can make a really refreshing summer drink, even though it is, seems like a holiday sort of flavor. And this peach one really excites me, too, for summertime. Yeah, the peach is really different than all those sugary, candied sort of Ciroc peach or absolute peach. This one's got a much this? different flavor profile. No, no, just take a, take a pull well, off that. Well, can I taste now, the Seth, this Cheers. is such a good idea, and, and obviously you guys at home are going to want to buy some of this infused vodka. Where can we pick up a bottle of these at? Right now in just Texas, we're available at all the goody-goody stores. So there's about 30 stores. And what the, is the price point on these? They're about $27. 
seven ninety nine right now. That's a great deal. A yeah, great deal. Yeah. You don't have then you don't have to infuse your own vodka. Yep. Craft Such a product. good idea. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of you. There's going to be lots more. There's more to come. come. We've got a lot in the works. So. I'm excited, and awesome. you'll come back and share when you have more products. I will good. absolutely. This is so good. You guys process. prepare to have the. Uh, we're, we're so excited. Like you said, you can get these at um, Goody Goody. Um, all the Goody Goodies in all Texas. All the Goody Goodies. Yep. Or in the United States. All the Goody Goodies just in Texas, awesome. and we're in Los Angeles as well. Awesome. Okay, you guys.